Welcome to Snail Trail 4x4, another two-minute Tuesday. Today we're going to be discussing wheelbase. Hey everybody, I'm Jimmy Jet. Today we're going to be discussing wheelbase and what is the best wheelbase for your off-road rig. Wheelbase is really a number that nobody has a definitive answer on what is the best wheelbase for rock crawling or what is the best wheelbase for the sand or the mud or any of that. Wheelbase really is this sort of golden number of a range that everybody says, oh, this might be good. So let's discuss how to find your wheelbase and what a good wheelbase is for you. Let's drop two minutes down on the clock. Boom. So wheelbase, what is it? Wheelbase is the measurement from the center of your rear axle to the center of your front axle. Here in America, we're in inches, so 124 inches wheelbase is Bobcat. Bobcat is a little long for the off-roading rock crawling community, but for some reason, it does great. I'm almost in the understanding that we need to pull our wheelbases back in that community and go with a little bit longer. The golden kind of number is 110, or excuse me, 100 to 110. And that's what a lot of people are striving for. The Samurais or Jeeps are lengthening their wheelbases and the Toyotas like mine will try and shrink theirs a little bit to hit those numbers, 100 to 110. But Bobcat does phenomenal in the sand, in the snow, on the rocks. So I'm leaving it at 124. I might be changing it slightly here and there, but it does great. So why is wheelbase important? So the longer the wheelbase, the harder it is to get over sharp obstacles, right? Because if you have a rock and you just drive over it, boom, you fall down on the rock and you bottom out. You high center, you can't get off of it. Where if you have a short wheelbase, you can just roll over that rock. Front tire would climb over, the rear tire would follow along. But on the flip side, if you have a long wheelbase and you have a really long obstacle, you could climb that up on the front tires and your wheels will still be far down. Then when you get up to the ridge, it's not as steep. Whereas if you have a short wheelbase and you get up there, you're going to be like 90 degrees and it'll be harder for you to get over that ridge. So there's a, that golden rule, they say, between 100 and 110 for the off-roading rock crawling community. But is it the best? I don't know. I think it, what it really comes down to is what do you like and what's best for your rig? What kind of wheeling are you doing? And what kind do you enjoy? How hard do you go? And are you pushing down on that pedal? I would be interested to know what your wheelbase is. Please leave me a comment down below and tell me what's the wheelbase of your rig. Hammer down on that subscribe button if you want to follow along on more of these 2-Minute Tuesdays. And don't forget, keep crawling.